सो गाइज टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू मेक सम एडवांस जूम इन एंड जूम आउट विच रिक्वायर्ड सम क्लिप्स एंड वी विल ऑल्सो यूज कस्टम ग्राफ इन इट द स्टार्टिंग पार्ट विल बी फॉर द जूम इन एंड द एंडिंग पार्ट विल बी फॉर द जूम आउट नाउ विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी टाइम लेट्स मूव टूवर्ड्स द जूम इन सो फर्स्ट वी विल एड अ फ्रेम एट द स्टार्टिंग एंड देन वील एड अ की फ्रेम एट द एंडिंग और एट द बीट लाइक दिस देन वी विल एड अ बीट जस्ट राइट beside of it just a little bit beside of it like you can see over here then we will go a little bit further just like this not much a little bit further and we will add a keyframe over here after adding a keyframe we will give these uh, values these keyframe some values so first we will go on to uh, the middle one this one and we'll go into the transform or you can use the basics option and then increase the scale or zoom in up to 185 okay and then you have to go into the ending keyframe and you have to increase the scale of it up to 280 okay you can use your thumb or you can use the zoom option or the scale option to increase the scale up to 280 after like uh, adjusting the scale of it the starting zoom in is completed now uh it will not look like that uh, it's a proper zoom in but after we will add the graph it will look similar then we'll add a keyframe at the ending make sure the scale is 280 then uh we will add a keyframe just right beside of it at the ending like this over here and we will set the scale of it or the zoom of it up to 180 okay then we will go a little bit further just like we did in the starting part just a little bit further and add a keyframe over there like this and then you have to reduce the scale of it up to 100 you can also use the scale option or the zoom option uh, in the basics or in the transform like this so it will give you the zoom out now the keyframes and the values are given but the thing which is remaining over here are the custom graph first let me show you that how this work so we'll go into the graph and we'll go into the linear graph okay for the starting one we'll go into the linear graph we'll add a beat over here just like this and adjust it and then a second beat like right, right over here so we have to make a curve from both of these beat you can see uh, make sure to like adjust your beats like this to get this type of curve okay down to upward but the down to upward will be faster okay it will uh, look like the cube out but it's not cube out Uh, it's a custom graph which you have to make then we'll go to the next one the next uh, graph so again we'll go into the linear and we will add two beats first uh, over here and we'll drag it down side and the second just right over here and we'll drag it to this side to get the opposite side curve the first that we made was from like faster down to upward now this will be like slower down to upward okay make sure you understand how i made this graph and you also like uh, put the similar graph like this and after that you can see the zoom in is getting better but now it's time to add the graph to the zoom out the graphs are similar like just we added and the starting the same graph for the st starting one and the same graph from for the uh, ending keyframes just like this so after like adding and adjusting all of your graph your clip will look like this but still there are something uh, which we need to add over here and that is a video effect but before that check your keyframes and your graphs properly because these things are important while making the custom zoom in and zoom out now we will add the wide angle effect and after like searching it we'll add it and adding it will set the object of it to all videos then uh, what you have to do you have to go into the starting and set the intensity to 100 and add a keyframe then the second keyframe will be just right below the above keyframe which was in the center and the third keyframe will be at the ending like this we have added three keyframes make sure that the center uh, one Uh, should be like zero the intensity on that should be zero then add a keyframe at the ending of that effect like this then a similar keyframe just right under the middle keyframe and set the intensity of it to zero 
now uh, you will see that the zoom in are getting way much more better but still we need to add graph so uh, we will like add the similar graph the curve graph that we have used earlier to adjust the intensity of the wide angle effect okay make sure you like adjust these graphs properly because these are the main thing that you need to do for this zoom in and zoom out after that uh, what you can see that the graph after adding graph you zoom in and zoom out are way more smoother then you have to duplicate your above clip duplicate your wide angle effect and drag it just right under it and then split out the like ending keyframe of it as you can see over here i have just split it ending part of it just only the ending thing then duplicate it and paste it and after that uh, you have you can see that the zoom in that we were expecting is completed i know it's a little bit laggy and not showing properly because i'm in screen recording and also like uh, adjusting the clips so that's why it's not properly shown that how it's adjusted but uh, in the edit you will see the good results or the better result to know like which type of zoom in and zoom out we are making and until now everything is completed and i hope you guys will try to make these custom zoom in and zoom out and you will use these for your edit and if you use this mention me i will check it till then we'll meet in the next video and peace out